One of the bloodiest days of the Civil War, the Battle of Antietam, September 17, 1862, saw the Confederate forces of Robert T. Lee halted by George McClellan's Union Army. The battle took place near Sharpsburg, Maryland. Bloody Lane on the Antietam battlefield was the scene of some of the most violent engagements of the battle. Several dead soldiers lying outside of Dunker Church, which survived the Battle of Antietam and was used as an aid station, September, 1862. Though Dunker Church survived a heavy barrage at the Battle of Antietam, it was raised by a storm in the 1920s. Rebuilt, it is an icon of the battlefield. Union soldiers erected signal towers at various high points around the battlefield. Using a system of signal flags, they would report enemy movements back to General McClellan, September, 1862. Confederate soldiers lie dead after the Battle of Antietam, September 19, 1862. This is Union soldiers stand guard around the grave of a compatriot, killed during the Battle of Antietam, 1862. Union physician Anson Hurd cared for wounded Confederate soldiers after the Battle of Antietam in this makeshift field hospital, September, 1862. President Abraham Lincoln meets with General George McClellan at Antietam a few weeks after the end of the battle in October of 1862. This is headstones at the Antietam National Cemetery. A memorial commemorating the 132nd Pennsylvania Regiment stands on Bloody Lane at Antietam. 